Do you remember the scene from the movie The Big Short when Brad Pitt, who was Ben Rickard in the movie, says what happens if unemployment goes up? Let's see that. idea what you just did come on we just made the deal of our lifetimes we should celebrate you just bet against the american economy fuck yeah we did yeah. fuck yeah which means oh which means <laughs> if we're right if we're right people lose homes people lose jobs people lose retirement savings people lose pensions you know what I hate about fucking banking it reduces people to numbers here's a number every one percent unemployment goes up forty thousand people die did you know that no did you know that no I didn't know that we were just excited. Just don't fucking dance. All right. Where are you going? Whoa, I just got really scared. I was curious about this statement that 40,000 people die if unemployment goes up by 1%. So I did the research and tried to calculate this. According to Wikipedia, the total labor force in the world is around 3.4 billion people. 1% of this would be 34 million. According to the American Public Health Association, the chance of death for an average employed person is around 0.15%. And the risk increases because of unemployment 63%. So the chance of death for an average unemployed person would be 0.2445%. The increase in chance of death would be 0.0945%. And finally, the increase in death if unemployment goes up by 1% would be 32,130 people. So the statement from the movie was actually close. Now. Let's try to calculate how many people could die because of this financial crisis that we currently have. This was published on 28 May. According to Guardian, more than 40 million people in US lost their jobs because of coronavirus. Let's say 40 million people in US lost their jobs. The United States population is equivalent to 4.25% of the total world population. So, we could say that the number of all people who lost their job is around 40 million divided by 0 0.0425 which equals somewhere around uh, 941 million. After that, we can make a statement that the increase in debt because of the financial crisis, which resulted with increased unemployment, is somewhere around uh, 889,000. So that's the increase in debt because of the financial crisis. When it comes to coronavirus, the number of people who died until 28 May is around uh, 362,000. So, more people died because of the financial crisis and unemployment than because of the coronavirus. Even if we consider the today's number of people who died because of corona, which is around half a million. And I also didn't mention that usually every year flu causes around 600 and 
46,000 deaths. So if you ask me, I think that we are still good for this year and below the average. For the end, let's see some interesting facts. Do you know that tobacco kills more than 8 million people every year? It's interesting that 1.2 million of them are actually non-smokers being exposed to secondhand smoke. Or do you know that each year more than 3 million people dies because of harmful use of alcohol? So just those two things kill 20 times more people than coronavirus. The question is why we don't turn the alarm, uh, close everything and declare an apocalypse because of this? Why Corona has even scared shit out of those people who consume a lot of tobacco and alcohol? which is actually much more dangerous. Why the guy who has 200 kilograms drinks a lot of alcohol and uses drugs is suddenly scared of corona? Is he just so careful and he has such a healthy life or he just buys everything on sale? You know, tobacco, alcohol, coronavirus. I mean, just Think about it, how the mainstream media tickles our dopamine receptors. Who benefits from it and who pays? Who is receiving bailouts? And who pays?